Hello everyone, welcome to Flavors of My Roots. Today I'll be making a delicious baked tamale Brazilian style. So let's start with the ingredients. Three eggs I'm going to add into the blender. Half a cup of milk. Three and a half cups of fresh corn. But you can also use the canned corn as well. Now let's blend it for about two minutes. I'm gonna add half a cup of flour, three quarter cups of Parmesan cheese, and salt to taste. Okay, so let's mix this well. So I'm going to leave this aside and now I'm going to saute the calabresa sausage. So let's do it. Let me turn the flame on, on medium. Let's add about three tablespoons of olive oil. Let's add the calabresa sausage. Um, Let's saute this for about three to five minutes. The calabresa is already pre-cooked, so it's smoked calabresa. Let's add one chopped small onion. Saute this for about two minutes. I'm going to add four cloves of chopped garlic. Now let's add the chives, cilantro, and scallions. This is done, so I'm gonna turn it off. Let's chop the mozzarella. I need about a cup of chopped mozzarella. You can also use the shredded one. I don't have it, so I'm chopping it. Okay. Let's add the cheese. Let's mix this well. So I'm gonna add Himalayan salt and black pepper to taste. And this is the first time I'm making this recipe. Hopefully it comes out right. Let's see if it has enough salt. Needs more. Himalayan salt is really different from the other salts. It's not gonna do anything. It's just you need to if you if you were to add one teaspoon of salt, regular salt, you should be adding two teaspoons of Himalayan salt. Tamale is very typical in Brazil, but it's very different. Our tamales in Brazil, they're usually sweet. And usually the Cuban tamales here in Miami, they're like um, uh, salty, right? And now in Brazil, we are making these um, baked um, tamales. Um, so it's, it's something different. This is really different from the regular tamales, Brazilian tamales. Tamales, made, we made them in the leaves. It's similar to the, uh, the Latin tamales, like the Cuban tamales, but it usually it's sweet. This is a different version. This is a different version of tamale that we are making. I would say this would be like a tamale cake, you know? Let me do it again. Mm, that should be good. One more. So I'm gonna bake this in the um, iron skillet for about 45 minutes. Let's coat the uh, iron skillet with a little bit of olive oil. 
So I usually like to do this with a paper towel. I think it's much easier. Let's pour the corn mixture right here. Yeah. Let's add some Parmesan cheese on top. Let's bake this at 350 degrees for about 45 minutes to an hour. The tamale is done baking. Now it's time to try this delicious Brazilian baked tamale. And it smells delicious too. Wow. Can't wait to try. Let's taste it. This Brazilian tamale, it's something else. Cheers.